Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to set up fast boot and ADP on your Mac for the purposes of unlocking and routing your Android devices and much more. Now everyone has a Windows PC so let's get the Mac users on board as well. Once you set up your fast boot and ADP you can now connect your Android device to your Mac and run all the same commands that you can run on your Windows PC. So let's set this up and then test it out to see if it works. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to Safari and download the Android SDK bundle for the Mac. Okay, and the website is right here. So it's developer.android.com slash SDK slash index.html. This is a big file. So once this zip file downloads, minimize this <clears throat> go to your downloads open this in finder and it's gonna show up something like this the ADT bundle Mac x 86 blah 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 right click on it click open with and do the archive utility which is going to unzip or expand the files into a folder like this one Okay, so once you have it expanded, I want you to copy and paste the two files that are in the folder, the Eclipse and SDK. So copy these files, or move, you can move them as well, but copy these two files, minimize this, and create a folder on your desktop and give it a name. I gave it the name Android Tools, okay? So you can give it the name Android, you can give it the name Fastboot, whatever pleases you so go in here and inside this thing well, let's change the view okay so inside here I want you to paste those two files that you extracted Okay, so once you're here, go to SDK, go to Tools, and then click Double Tap Android. Okay, and it's going to ask you to open this. By the way, sometimes you're going to be, if you don't have Java installed on your Mac, it's going to prompt you to install Java. You can go ahead and do that, no problem. After Java installation is complete, come back here, run Android, this file right here, and then when it says Open, just click Open. and then you're gonna get this whole thing here the two files that you want to download are Android SDK tools and Android SDK SDK platform tools once you have this ready click install package and you're gonna get another window pop-up click right here and accept the license and then click install so at the bottom here you say it says downloading the tools that you need and take a couple seconds there. Okay, so just click OK to any kind of pop ups. And then you can actually, when it says done loading packages, you can exit out of this, exit out of here, and exit out of here just to keep it clean. Now go back into Android Tools, okay, go to SDK, this time go to Platform Tools, and then I want you to copy this and this file. So copy ADB, if you press and hold Command on your keyboard, you can press this at the same time, and then right click, copy two items, and then go back to the root of your Android Tools folder, this one right here, the one you created, and then right click and paste those two files. Now you're actually ready to go. What I want you to do next is I want you to connect your phone to your computer using a micro USB cable, but make sure you put your phone in fast boot status so we can test to see if the connection works. So I, I already put my uh, HTC One that's my Android phone to fast boot status and I have connected it to my
computer using a micro USB cable. Then you want to do is you want to go to the spotlight search up here. Spotlight search. Type in terminal and launch the terminal. This is the equivalent of the command prompt on Windows. From here, you want to type in ls. This lists all your folders that you can actually access. And then use the cd command to go to desktop. So now you're focused on the desktop. And then type in cd one more time and in double quotation marks type in Android tools. The reason I'm using the double quotation marks is because there's a space in the file folder name. If your folder is only one word, you don't have to use the quotation marks. So anyway, CD command is going to change the focus to Android Tools. Type that. Now I'm focused in the Android Tools folder, which is right here. Okay. And from here, I can start running my actual fast boot commands. Now with the Mac, you do have to type in the dot and the slash command before you type in any fast boot or ADP ADP B commands. So let's do a fast boot devices and this command actually checks to see if there's a device connected to your computer and if it is active. So when you press enter if you get a random number like this one and fast boot next to it that means your fast boot is in fact working so you're all set to go so from here you can do things like dot slash fast boot um, flash this is flashing if you want to flash an image to your device you can use the flash command you can use any command in fast boot or ADP using this terminal and when now you're following tutorials online if they're using a Windows PC you can do the same things on your Mac PC. On the Windows though you don't have to type dot slash. On Windows you just go fast boot devices. And as you can see it says command not found. So make sure you put dot slash fast boot devices and then it's gonna work. Okay well that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now you're ready to go using fast boot on your Mac and ADP as well. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and um, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Have a good day.